Every day we hear about emerging technologies that could change our lives. And while we have made discoveries, does it also seem like some technology is years away? That's what CBS 58's Bill Walsh wondered in today's best story ever. He went to find some answers. In Stanley Kubrick's 2001, people live and work on the moon and explore the entire solar system. In Terminator, Skynet became self-aware in 1997. Not all predictions are happy. And intelligent machines master time travel in 2029. 2015? You mean we're in the future? The Back to the Future movies thought we'd have flying cars by now. You're in a time machine. Yet in the real world in 2024, our rockets explode, chat GPT is lazy, and our self-driving cars crash. Where is our cure for cancer? Where is space travel? Heck, I would settle for the kale that tastes like bacon. Anyone remember that? Since the heyday of happy days, we have been promised a brighter future. Cool stuff. Where is it? When does the future get here? Where are the flying cars? I was promised flying cars. I don't see any flying cars. Why? 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 Because Just like that now 24-year-old IBM commercial, I wanted to know why. So I talked to David Zock, who was a futurist. What is a futurist? I knew you were going to ask that. Zock has spoken across the country about what's next and what happens after the next big thing hits. The idea is to help people think about where do we go from here? What are our choices? He says pop culture and pundits are often really bad at predictions. Check out this magazine cover from 1918, which nailed the idea of video calling, but did not foresee wireless phones and was way off on design. With all that stuff we were promised, that was marketing. They were selling you something. And Zach says in many ways, the amazing technology we were promised is here. A universal communication device. But the next big thing often comes with unintended consequences. But they're really little pocket mirrors. And they give you exactly what you're looking for. So as a result of these things, we talk to fewer people. So in looking to the future, Zox says future tech, like artificial intelligence, will lead to amazing discoveries. But be careful what you wish for. 80% of what you do is going to be better done by a machine or by somebody paid less with less training. So if you want to survive, you want to thrive in the coming years, you got to figure out what's that unique 20%. Mm. That you guys, part. do you guys not remember bacon that tastes or kale that tastes like bacon? I, I read, recall. I read 50 news stories on this. Uh -huh. Where is it? <laughs> Where's my seaweed that tastes like bacon? I well, was hoping I'll, you were going to bring us. Some. I'll settle for that. How about just a little bacon with your kale? That'll be good enough, Bill. And honestly, throw you, some I, bacon bits on your kale. Are you worried about AI replacing us? <laughs> yeah, the, I am like, why are you doing this story? Not Let's gonna just... happen, Amanda. No, no, no. You have that joie de vivre that uh, cannot be replaced. Go Bill, on. Thanks again. <laughs> and that'll do it for us today at four. Thanks for watching.